Hi all, hope you are well. Um, what a lovely day, not, but at least it's daylight. Um, I am grateful for that. Uh, and we have bright colour to lighten up the day. Um, so say hello or give me a wave when you're joining so that I know that you can hear me okay. My internet is since we have changed, very dodgy. Um, so hopefully it's not all pixelated and you can actually see me. Um, so I'll just hang fire for a little minute before I get started um, on today's topic. Um, I've got lots of nice things to show you. Uh, and we can do some questions at the end if you have any questions about any of the pieces that I'm going to show you. Um, oh, good, good, hi Helen. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about getting back to you. Um, so obviously with the announcements um, that we've had recently, everything's kind of all been thrown into the mix. I don't know about you, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed over all the things that we might need to be organising now and just the, the whole thought of getting out the door on time next week to get to school. Um, We've had a letter from school to say, you must be there on time, blah, 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 blah. Uh, because they're obviously bringing people in at different times, different stages, the pupils. So I was like, oh, it's giving me the fear. <laughs> uh, so I am hoping to be very organised. And there was things that I was thinking about doing for myself um, to help the process just flow a little bit smoother without so much stress. And... Um, I thought I would share that with you um, in case it helps you as well. Okay, so um, I think we'll get started and then obviously if people join in they can catch up. I will share this into the IGTV um, if people need to see it later. So say hello if you're watching this there as well. Um, and yeah, give me a shout with questions at the end if you have any um so it is it's been a, it feels like a very long time since we've done since we've done anything kind of close to normal real life and now that we kind of have this um plan in effect even though it's subject to change um it's definitely um thrown a lot of us into turmoil i think um you've probably been living in about maybe 10 percent of your wardrobe um rotating the same looks over and over again um are you bored yet I, I think so. Um, have you completely lost all sense of who you are and how you used to dress? Um, definitely I found that I really had to fight to um, keep um, myself not looking stylish but just feeling like me. Um, it's so easy to sit in your pyjamas all day and um, especially when you don't have to go anywhere. Uh, so I have really um, made a point of pushing myself to get dressed and, and you know fix the hair as much as we can with the new silver stripe that we're rocking. Um, but not going to go there because it's going to be another what five weeks or four weeks or whatever till we can actually see our hairdressers but anyway. Um, I guess um, lots of you maybe are in a situation now where um, you might actually not be going back to what you were doing before. Lifestyle might have changed completely. You may be working from home, um, you know, half of the week or um, just the, your whole scenario and um, outlook could have changed completely. So actually um, it might be even more daunting for you um, and your wardrobe probably is not necessarily going to be working for you in the same way as it did. Um, so it's definitely something to be thinking about. Um, and not because it's a priority, um, but actually how getting dressed and, and what you put on does actually have a really strong impact on your mindset. Um, so have um, a thought about it because you don't want the chaos next week of trying to pull stuff out and thinking... I can't wear that, can't wear that, can't wear that. Because there's going to be enough of everybody else trying to get dressed and asking them 25 million times to put their shoes on. Um, so you don't need to be doing it for yourself as well. Um, and also you don't really want what is in your wardrobe to be pulling down your mindset. Um, we need to uh, make sure that it's uh, keeping you in a happy place, let's say that. Um, so um, 
yeah, we're excited, we're hopeful, we're completely <laughs> shitting ourselves about going back out into real life um, and sorting out everybody else as well. Um, so I don't necessarily have all the answers. I'm not the most organised person, I'm definitely not claiming that. Um, but I do feel that if I plan out a little bit of stuff, I, I am the kind that will get things sorted maybe the night before just so that the morning without the three cups of coffee to actually help me function um doesn't turn into all pandemonium basically <laughs> um and I'm going to talk a little bit about big girl pants as well so I'll come to that in a minute um but hopefully this will give you a couple of ideas to help you hit that roadmap uh, so first things first um if you're like me <laughs> There's a good chance that your clothes will now be hugging you a little bit more tightly than they did before. Um, those lockdown 11s and extra uh, wine o'clocks have definitely not helped me. Um, but let's not beat ourselves up about it because it has been a completely crazy time. Um, and you kind of need to do what you need to do to get through it. Um, but what I don't want now is for everybody to be looking at their wardrobe and thinking I don't fit in any of my clothes um, and that actually really has a kind of negative effect on your mindset as well so um, the best thing to do is to turn it around on its head a little bit and get your um, a little bit of wardrobe re-love I suppose so if you've got the chance over the next few days um, open the wardrobe it may not be your first choice of what you, you might want to do um, but if you try on some of your clothes just now, you're going to know where you stand with them all. Um, if your favourite skinny jeans don't fit, please don't lose the rag and throw them away and empty your wardrobe completely. And, you know, if you do want to do that, I can help. I've got lots of beautiful clothes that you can refill it in with. Um, but do take some time to consider um, what you've got. And then there's pieces in there that might not fit you comfortably now. But in a few weeks time or a few months time, things might be completely different. So don't do any rash wardrobe overhauls right now. Um, and um, there are pieces maybe that you love that you felt really comfortable and confident in um, before those pieces might still do that for you um, they just might not do it right now um, so don't let them go um, if there are pieces there that you know perhaps you, you had a corporate um, job and you needed a corporate wardrobe and now maybe you're working from home a little bit more and some of those pieces won't serve you for just now um, you know, maybe not necessarily get rid of them straight away, but do consider um putting any pieces that are not working for you over to um a charity. They need lots of help right now. And also someone else will get the love and joy out of that piece um instead of you or might have as much fun with it as you did at one point. Um so the last thing we need right now is a wardrobe full of clothes that are really kind of pulling our mindset down and making us feel bad about eating those brioches every day for weeks. That's just me. Um, but um, what you want is to open the wardrobe and have at the forefront all the pieces that you know you can wear and that you can have a little mix and match um, fun with. So if you have been kind of watching back over the last few weeks, I have talked quite a lot about mix and match pieces, um, pieces that are kind of neutral or perhaps fit really comfortably right now and give you a bit of space um, to just be able to throw them on effortlessly without um, too much stress and too much thought. I guess that's that's where we kind of, we all need to be. Um, so a the ideal scenario, if you've got time, is that when you open your wardrobe, the first thing you see are the pieces that you can wear right now and that you can do a little mix and match with and grab that shirt that goes with those jeans or um, those joggers or whatever it is that you, you feel that you need to be wearing right now to fit your lifestyle. Um, that's important too. So obviously corporate pieces, if you're not back in an, in an office for an, a little while, move those pieces over to one side and actually just have a section of pieces that really you can grab and go with um, and also that pieces that you know fit you 
and they're not making you feel bad because you can't you still can't get into them you don't want to see those first thing in the morning when you're getting dressed those are not what you need to see um there's going to be enough craziness and and chaos downstairs when you're trying to get everyone out the door to bring your mood down you don't need anything else to drive you insane um so definitely pick out some pieces um, that you love, that you always feel good in when you wear them. Those are definitely the pieces that you want to start with. Choose um, and try on some of these pieces. Make sure they do still fit you um, comfortably and have a play around with, if you have been living in those, have a play around with them in a sense that you might be able to change how you wear it or maybe you could bring in that shirt or that pop of colour now that we are into spring um, that changes how they look when you're wearing them. Um, and have just a little bit of fun with it. Um, maybe add some print. I'll show you these in a moment. I'm going to talk about them in a minute. Um, to update them for a new season or, so, as I said, some colour. And just have a little kind of play around with how you can be styling them in different ways. Um, maybe choose pieces that have got a softer waistband. Um, maybe more kind of soft um, tailoring rather than fully tailored. Um, make sure that it kind of feels good and fits in with um, your personality at the moment because in, in some cases, um, you know, you maybe did go out power dressing all the time, but at the moment that's not going to work for you. So um, do sort of tweak that a little bit. And um, kind of those loose fit, fit pieces, but not pieces that you can hide under. Don't go and get the baggiest tote clothes you can find out and the great big hoodies and things like that and hide under them because it won't serve you well. It's not who you are necessarily and um, you kind of need to um, boost your confidence and your mindset with what you are wearing um, rather than hiding away underneath your clothes. If you do need help and guidance with this, um, obviously I'm here. <laughs> Please DM me if you've got specific questions or you're just opening your wardrobe and you're going oh my god just can't do it don't know where to start um and actually none of none of what i'm seeing is making me feel good there will be pieces in there that we can find that we can put together in different ways that will help you um do that so that you don't have to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe and um, obviously i have lots of beautiful pieces if you do want to add anything new i know that buying something new makes me feel good um but you might not necessarily want to do that right now, if especially if you're not feeling that you are your size that you would normally be. Um, so definitely um, keep that in mind. And if you are choosing to buy anything just now, make sure you're kind of buying pieces um, that can update your wardrobe for just now, but obviously give you longevity. Um, so pieces that you can wear in lots of different ways that maybe go with three to five different things that you've already got on your wardrobe and give you a bit of flexibility so you can be at the park with the kids but you could easily be working and um, dressing them up for uh, you know a quick trip to the office or whatever it is that you you're going to be doing and um, you know maybe is there a jacket or a uh, a trench coat or something that you can add to the look that actually completely elevates it it makes you feel pulled together um and actually it, it might feel like a whole new you just with one coat so you know consider that um layers are definitely key right now so this is another um tip um the weather's all over the place today it's horrible rain here um and we need pieces that we can throw together and really kind of um layer from a practical perspective um if you want to go all out glam do that too because that <laughs> that is who you are and if you really need to embrace it then go for it there's no issues with wearing your sequined joggers to the school run sorry if you want to do it do it <laughs> it's about what's going to give you confidence and just help boost your mood for the day um on that note color is absolutely Honestly, I've been reading up so much about um colour psychology and learning about what all the colours can do. It's so fascinating. Um, did you know that it actually has a really strong impact on how we feel um and how we approach things and our mindset? Um it's really, really interesting. Um so green, for example, is a balancing colour. It's a colour that 
um, brings calm and harmony. Um, it can alleviate anxiety and nervousness. Um, it's also a great colour to wear if you need to move forward from a period of instability or uncertainty. Um, don't you think that's amazing? Um, so definitely, I recommend wearing green next week. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a green for everyone there's so many different shades and if you do know your colors um, and you've had um, color analysis done then that will be a little bit easier for you but maybe it's not some it's not a color that you you normally wear um, and, and maybe it's just not a color that you love um, it will help you though so here's my top top tip about big girl pants so um, I I'm still experimenting with colours and finding I, I'm a neutral girl, but I am loving adding pops of colour to my wardrobe here and there. And I am also loving the effect that it has on my, my mindset. So I've been really kind of playing around with that quite a bit since I did my colour course. Um, and I have bought green pants. I've actually bought red and blue pants as well. <laughs> as well. Um, so this is where your big girl pants come into play. Um, if you don't want to wear the colour on the outside but want to um, have that mood boosting effect that you can get from the colour, get some undies. So I have got some green, red and blue knickers. So green is for the calm and the balancing. So if I've got a day where uh, I know there's lots going on and it's potentially going to be a bit stressful, so Monday I will be wearing my green pants. <laughs> um, the red ones, apart from the obvious connotations um, of red uh, for passion and so on, actually red, did you know that it can raise your heart rate? So if you do have blood pressure issues, don't wear red. Um, but red can um, give you motivation and really kind of fire up your, your energy and um, it draws um, the eye. So if you did need to perhaps perhaps do a big Zoom meeting or something like that, um, or if you are going back into the office and you do have to do a presentation and you're a bit nervous about that, if you wear some red, you're really gonna command the attention of the room, but it's gonna give you motivation and energy as well, which is amazing. Um, blue is brilliant for clarity of mind and it's also a very peaceful calm calming colour as well um, so the blue knickers come out if I need a, a little bit of focus and I need to um, really sort of make sure that I am honing in on what I need to get done for the day um, so your big 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 girl pants can't even say it um, take on a new connotation now so I want to know if you try it if it makes you feel better. I 100% am on with this. This definitely makes a difference for me. So I would love to know if you try it. Um, yellow as well is another great colour. So it's a very optimistic, happy, positive, warm colour. Um, and it gives emotional strength. So next week, I recommend you buy some daffodils or something like that and stick them in the hallway or the kitchen where everyone's getting ready and everyone's there so subconsciously that yellow will be helping everyone's mood just be in a better place. Um, test the water, see if it works. Um, would love to hear if it definitely has brightened um, up your school run. <laughs> your school run mood next week. I'd love to know how you get on. Um, so that's just a few tips on how to really kind of get back to you obviously if you're really stuck in a rut and you found that finding this whole transition into normal life so daunting that you don't you don't know where to start it's definitely time to get a, a personal stylist involved and um obviously i am on hand to help if you need me um we can work through any issues or questions that you might have and I've got lots of different services that might suit so we can figure out after a chat which you need most and we'll focus on that first. Um, so let me talk to you quickly because I've banged on for too long again as usual. Um, I want to talk to you quickly about some beautiful new spring arrivals that came into the boutique. Um, little pop of colour, a little bit of animal print, I'm feeling this kind of 70s vibe as well. So if you can see, hopefully it's not too dark. I need to bring the light over a wee bit. Um, I've got high-waisted wide leg jeans on, which are kind of a modern update of 
um, those flares, but there's definitely wide leg jeans are in and for the rest of the year as well. So if you are looking for new a new style of jean, these are so comfortable because they are high waisted. They, they're wide leg. They're actually cropped. I don't know if you can see my feet. Um, but because I'm only 5'4", they do come down to my ankle. So just bear that in mind if you are looking at these ones on the website, that they are meant to be crop a cropped style. Um, for you taller girls, you will find that they're sitting probably in the right place <laughs> because I am shorter, they go down to my ankles. But I, I quite like them at this length, actually. So I've stuck with, with it rather than you can cut them because they are the frayed edge. Um, and then we've got this gorgeous kind of floaty animal print shirt, this beautiful aqua colour, which actually uh, does suit quite a lot of um, people with different... Um, colour seasons if you've had your analysis done. It's a lovely colour and beautiful detailing on the sleeve and I don't know if you can see this kind of ruched, I can't even say the word, effect. Um, that sounded very Scottish there, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's gorgeous. So this is actually stretchy. Um, so you just pull your head through here and then it's got this lovely detail. But it does feel a little bit... Um, serpents 70s vibe but a more kind of up-to-date modern version um so a beautiful shirt i've also got the same print in a gorgeous dress so if you have a look at the website i'll try and tag all the the products in this afterwards um the dress has got gorgeous sleeve shape um it's got a zip up the back so it's very um sleek at the back and then I don't know if you can see this, it's got this little elastic uh, piece here that really kind of pulls it in and it's it's more of an empire line, so it's a really, with a V, really, really flattering um, shape for lots of body types. And then it's just got the A-line skirt and lengthwise on me at 5'4", it is quite long, it's right down to my ankle, it looks fab, if you have a look at the pictures on the website, it looks fab with the trainers. I'm kind of picturing it at the moment with um, maybe a leather jacket and a big scarf to lay it up and then obviously in the summer you can be popping it on with your wedges um, or a denim jacket or something like that if you need an extra layer but it is a beautiful fit dress um, I felt I felt really good on it so I, if I was going to update with something a dress that I could wear you know that was versatile this, this was a fab option and it is such a beautiful colour as well really different um, I've pulled out these jeans um, because you'll find that the baggier style of jean is massively in at the moment um, and for the rest of the year it's kind of carrying on. I think they've, they're being kind to us with them um, knowing that everyone <laughs> is wanting a little bit more loose fit at the moment um, but these have got gorgeous detail. Um, they're very high waisted as well so again really flattering and then they've got a kind of a more loose fit leg and you can roll them up at the bottom so these look really cute as an update with this um with this uh, shirt it's a, it's a fab combo so that's why i pulled those out and then we have this beautiful dress so so i so wish you could feel it because it feels lovely it's got the sheer sleeve with a little bit of elastic on the bottom here and then I don't know if you can see, but this is all pleated all the way down. Gorgeous little ruffle on the neckline. And it has just the most beautiful hang to it. So it drapes really lovely. It's kind of what I call a buffet dress. So you can um, hide under it, but you still look super stylish. So it's not the same as wearing your husband's hoodie. Okay, this is a step up from that. Uh, but it's absolutely beautiful. Um, pleats run all the way down it's fully lined as well okay, so it's got the lining and lengthwise on me it sits below my knee at 5'4 but obviously if you are a bit taller it's going to sit maybe just on the knee uh, but it's such a beautiful dress and again I can picture it with even a camel coat and some boots right now would look so cute with the ankle boots and tights if you need to. This is definitely a cross season piece um, that will transition for you because in the summer you could be wearing it with some cute little flat form uh, wedges or full on heels uh, if you are going out and it's just a beautiful throw on 
um, piece and easy to style because you can play around with you know how you wear it so a denim jacket would look really cute over it as well so that is fabulous and then another dress with this gorgeous green so if you are in the market for something green to give it a go this is beautiful um, it's got the slight um, puff on the sleeve again and then it's got I don't know if you can see this little ruffle detail at the top with the tie here and then this this kind of loose fit waist it is fully lined this one is a bit shorter so it's actually just above my knee um but easily just now you could be wearing it with leggings or skinny jeans underneath and it does cover um all areas and you know it's but it's still a flattering shape so if you are looking for something that you do want to maybe cover up a little bit in but it still gives you a really nice shape rather than, than just being hiding under a you know a great big baggy loose loose jumper um, and it's such a beautiful colour and again it's a cross seasonal piece um, colour wise because this these colours these are kind of earthier more autumnal sort of colour almost a sagey green will carry on right through the year as well um, so it's a great option and last up get it off here is the shirt to match this shirt has got these beautiful kind of little frill detail down at the shoulder and then this again is this um shared uh, finish with the little ruffle here beautiful sleeve gorgeous um detail again it's got a lining in it as well so it's not see through the little button uh, fastening at the back and just a really beautiful um finish and it is quite 70s but it's a bit more up to date um, so again with the jeans that I'm wearing, the wide leg kind of jeans, it is a really um, gorgeous look and again you can see this just now with some ankle boots or some trainers um, and then as you take it into summer you could be wearing it um, with your wedges which will be fab, wedges or sandals. So this is the jeans. Um, just to show you, this is a brand new pair and the ones that I'm wearing have been washed a lot. So although there's a slight fade, there's really not that much. So they're just such a fantastic quality um, denim. Really, really lovely. Uh, so snap those up because they are on offer on the website right now as well. Um, so those are all the spring bits. If you've got any... Oh, nearly forgot to show you the last one. <laughs> The beautiful blazer. I couldn't resist this because a blazer is such a classic um, style piece and it's a kind of maybe slightly more of an investment piece but it's a, as it's a capsule wardrobe it's something that you will wear for years to come so it's definitely um, something to consider as an update. Um, this is a longer line style as you can see kind of where it sits on me it's down to mid thigh and then it's a double breasted you can see the the buttons are absolutely beautiful and it's just it's got this little finish here just a straight back and it has pockets so you can be wearing this as a, a jacket um, as we come into kind of the warmer weather um, it's a really beautiful piece and so cute just with jeans nice pair of boots or your trainers Maybe a slogan um, t-shirt or a camsole or something underneath if you need to dress it up. Um, or a pop of colour would look fab under it. Um, absolutely beautiful. So I've only got a few of these available. Um, but they are very special and really, really lovely on. Um, so the size and guides on the website. I try and put on the UK equivalent and if if I feel something's a bit neater I'll try and um, comment on that in, the, in the, the details but please do get in touch if you've got any questions about any of the pieces that I've shown or if you do need a bit, a bit of wardrobe real love help um, I'll be covering a few different things on this this week um, but please do let me know if um, you are 
stuck and a rut and you need some help to get to back out um i will do my best and um yeah get in touch if there's any of the pieces that you've seen that you love so thanks for watching if you watch this back later please comment or say hello or let me know what your favorite pieces are and please let me know if you try the big girl pants trick i want to know if it works so thanks for watching see you soon